Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I came out today to have a fun little day, but also to show you guys some parts of the parks that could be frightening to like small children and people with certain phobias that I think are amazing. So, let's go do this. I have always said Animal Kingdom is one of the scariest parks at Disney World and everybody has their own fears and own phobias but these are a couple of them that I've seen firsthand or heard of that people really just don't like they get afraid we are gonna do other fun things today not just the scary things and they're not even like scary because it is still a Disney park you know what I'm saying but uh, I thought today was a perfect day to do this I've been wanting to do it for a while and uh, yeah I was like today's the day our first stop today is gonna be it's tough to be a bug and a lot of people wouldn't expect this to be scary especially if you've never done it before but I'll show you why it's Tough to Be a Bug is a show that is at the bottom of the Tree of Life and I absolutely love it. I think it's one of my favorite attractions on all of the Walt Disney World Resort property. Disney actually recognizes it as a scary ride because they label it as thrill type, dark, scary, and loud. Isn't that awesome? Like They, they put scary right in there. Any second now we're going to have to grab our honorary bug glasses and the show should start. This attraction may be frightening for children. Supervised children at all times, wheelchair access on the left. Here is the theater. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Flick, what are these humans wearing on their heads? Oh, I need an honorary box. Honorary what? They're our biggest enemy. No, no, that's not true. They're my friends. Friends? Get this loser out of my sight. Hey, hey. Bring in the evidence. Friends don't exterminate friends, do they? Still don't get it? Well, then watch this. This means What did you guys think of that? It can be absolutely frightening, right? Especially for people that have arachnophobia, fear of spiders, because you see how the spiders came down and they're like, rah, rah, rah. And then Hopper is one of the scariest animatronics like ever. Like, that's pretty frightening. If you guys know of any other scary things, let me know in the comments below. Just give me your feedback. Let me know if you even thought that was scary. And uh, now I think we're gonna move along and continue our day here. But this is beautiful back here, isn't it? Look at that view. Our next venture is going to take us to Dino Land USA and this is one of my all-time favorite rides right here. This ride is one of the scariest and darkest rides at Disney World. It's actually so dark, it's like pitch dark, you can't see in front of your face so it's going to be difficult to film in there but I'm going to do the best that I can. But mix dark dark with dinosaurs chasing you and you have a frightfully frightful ride and I'm excited because I love it. Even the queue itself can be scary. And take a look at those claws. The sign outside gives you an upfront warning. Dark places and scary dinosaurs. This prehistoric tour is a high speed, turbulent ride adventure that includes sharp turns and sudden drops. Look at how cool this is. And a little Bill Nye the Science Guy narration sets for the perfect queue, I think. I love coming in here and eventually it does turn the lights off and then it kind of recreates when the asteroid hit the planet. The loading platform that's at the underground research facility is a cool place and it always has a distinct smell. I love the smell inside Dinosaur. Also there's a lot of different McDonald's references in here that I think are really amazing. I think it's ironic that McDonald's used to sponsor this ride. You know, McDonald's being like a kid-friendly place and this being one of the scariest rides for kids actually at Disney World. Look how the lights are kind of dimming in and out. It 
if you look right here, you can see the red, yellow, and white pipes. That is ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise for McDonald's. I just think that's really, really interesting. But now we gotta load up. Oh. We are in our time rover now. It's time to head out, check our seatbelt. All checked, all checked. Thank you. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll! Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Oleoramus. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Computer, full stop! Ah! Identify! Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Get them out now! That ride is so much fun. I absolutely love it. And the Carnotaurus is like relentless. It chases you down three times in that ride. The first time it pops out and it kind of scares you with a little bit of like strobe lights and that's on the left hand side. And then it chases you again and that's on the left. And then one last time that's your photo and that's on the right hand side. But he's a baddie. <laughs> We're going to move along into Asia where we're going to take a little pathway where we might encounter some winged creatures of the night. And I love it over here. It's so fully themed. Look at those toes or claws. To the right of the Yak and Yeti restaurant, there is the Maharaja Jungle Trek. And it has such a cool display or an exhibit of wildlife. I absolutely love coming through here. You get to see monkeys, tigers, dragons, and bats. And it's also pretty interesting that you get to see some Komodo dragons. Those are frightful just for anybody. Look at the size of these Komodo dragons though. He's just sitting there chilling on a rock. Definitely one of the world's worst bites. All of the bacteria inside of his mouth. I watched a special on it one time. And those, look at those talons, look at those claws. They can do some damage. Komodo dragons are definitely one of the most dangerous predators on the planet, but I feel like people are more afraid of bats than they are Komodo dragons or even tigers. I feel like there are more people afraid of bats. A little bit of a warning sign before we head in. Visitors advisement while inside viewing bats, please act in a quiet and respectful manner because we are going into the bat house. Now, the first time that I went in here, I didn't know that the bats were actually like open like so there's no windows or anything separating you from the bats they're just hanging there right in here oh, hello <laughs> take a look at this enclosure here it just kind of goes right out and then you see there is a giant flying fox right there now these bats are not nocturnal and they do eat fruit but they are some of the world's largest bats look at them just hanging there it's crazy right oh wow there's a couple of them moving around Oh wow, look at that mess. Looks like they're fighting.
those bats are perfectly harmless and they're vegetarian so I wouldn't be afraid of them actually attacking you but I would be worried about them landing on your head we're gonna keep chugging along here and although tigers are present in the forest you will be very safe by walking on the well-traveled paths so let's just not get off path here don't need to be getting eaten by that tiger anytime soon wow take a look at this the tigers are all playing around I do know a couple of friends that are afraid of birds and we are in a bird enclosurement. So they're just woo, flying around. Woo. You gotta dodge them here. Woo. Ooh, and look at this, we're coming up on a, a pheasant. Holy moly. Yeah, so uh, pheasants are uh, include the peacocks, right? So pe peacocks are in the pheasant family, so. That is a brave lady right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They don't like to be yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't. <laughs> oh, and then there's a bird. Oh boy! <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> They're like guarding the door here. You can't get by. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> That was the scariest thing all day for me, I can say. Wow, those birds. I love birds, those were amazing. They were flying around. There was a gigantic pheasant. The one was guarding the door, he darted right for me. I hope I caught it on camera, I think I did. <laughs> that was awesome though. For our next stop, we're gonna have to visit the Himalayas and I can already hear the screams from here. Are people afraid of the giant drop or the broken track or the Yeti that's hiding inside Expedition Everest. Obviously soon we're gonna be coming face to face with the Yeti and enough statues all around the queue that warn you he's in there, he's lurking. I also like to look at all the different variations of the Yeti. You can see them in between the statues and these posts right here. Looks frightening. I call that one the fat Yeti. See a little chunky, he's got some extra, he's got some extra fur on him. I like this one because it reminds me of Monsters Inc. The Abominable Snowman. And there's even a picture of Josh Gates. Look at that. He's from that TV show. Very fancy. I do have to say Expedition Everest is a lot scarier at night, but daytime is just as scary. I absolutely love it. It's going to be so fun and it's thrilling. Oh yes, fancy me. Luckily I ran into a friend to go on this expedition with. Adam the Woo. Oh, hats off. I'm bald.
I wonder if the Yeti will come. Oh! Much too good. Much too good for children. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and here is my favorite Yeti statue. Look at that. <laughs> Look at those claws. He looks furious, doesn't he? And with that Yeti, I think we are done here today. What did you guys think of the video? Let me know in the comments what attraction scared you in the past or continues to scare you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. This was a lot of fun, just kind of like having a topic piece where I went around with an agenda. Most of the time, I usually just kind of wing it and just have fun at Disney. So today was a little bit different. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yeti.